Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Rishav and I am here again with another video of C++ graphics. In this video, I will tell you how you can make loading screen in C++ graphics. Okay? So let's start. First we make a comment. Okay? Before the graphics header file. Here we write loading screen in C++ graphics by Rishav Hacks okay if you not subscribed my channel let's subscribe it okay here you see I include graphics.h, conio.h and dos.h I include dos.h because I use delay function in this program okay then we write int main and here graphic driver and graphic mode init graph to initialize graphics and here bgi location okay and here you see get ch to hold our screen and close graph to close the graphic screen and return 0 because I write int main okay so let's first draw a rectangle it use rectangle function and four arguments of integer data type okay so let's go to paint and see how a rectangle is drawn in C++ graphics okay so here you see I take these x y coordinate here first point is 100 and 100 which takes a point here and another point is 400 130 which takes a point here from the right hand side okay now it draw a rectangle so write this in program in rectangle function 100 100 is the first point so we write 100 comma 100 and the second point is 400 and 130 okay to draw a rectangle on output screen so let's check by control f9 here you see rectangle is perfectly drawn now we press enter and here we give a line function okay so we write line and it also takes four arguments x1 y1 and x2 y2 okay the x1 y1 is the first coordinate so we write 100 100 and another points 100 and 130 okay here you see I take 100 100 because the rectangle point is starting with 100 100 so it's aligned with rectangle first line and 100 130 because the y-axis of rectangle is 130 let's go to paint again and show you how this line overlaps the rectangle okay so first run this and here you see the line is not shown because it is overlap rectangle so go to paint and here you see our line is drawn here you see here this line this line is overlapped by our line okay so you see here when I make comment this rectangle and press ctrl f9 you see rectangle is removed and line is drawn okay so you now understand where is our line so we make a for loop here I give for int i for variable i equals to 0 i less than 400 and i plus plus to increase the value of i okay then I give here 100 plus i to increase the x axis of line okay so that it move to the end of rectangle and fill our rectangle but it is not happening because we mistaken given here a semicolon and for loop does not terminate okay so we remove this semicolon and here we give delay and here we write 40 and um, make these two lines in the curly braces okay in a it forms a block for block and here you see the loading is now accurate and satisfying our needs okay now I write change this value 40 to 30 and write here the out text function you know now out text, out text xy function will give the xy coordinates along with the string okay so here we write 230 and 150 the coordinates xy coordinate and in double quotes here we write loading 
and three dots okay I given here two dot and control F9 and here you see loading is written and the loading is failing in rectangle okay now this is amazing you can do lots more changes lots of more changes and make it more cool so first of all we give here another function which is set line style it changes the style of line okay and it takes the three arguments first is line style so here we give three and the second one is user, user pattern which is zero and third is with it and here you see the line is changed and uh, it is looking more cool so now we change the values 3 to 1 which is width and this 3 to 6 to change our line to original okay here you see I hope you learned something new from this video if you learned something new please like this video and watch more videos of mine and subscribe my channel to stay connected with me I take one video every day thank you